Esther Shipper announces the second solo exhibition of the artist Jean Pascal Flavian with a gallery, titled Ballardian House. The exhibition inaugurates a lificized house constructed by Jean Pascal Flavian within the exhibition space. The house is set amidst a sandy ground, roofing a number of rocks an environment native to a desert. The house that's called Ballardian 4 is made of two similar structures, both of them are posed at an angle that creates a central hinge to cling on to, and thus addresses the notion of doubling, coupling and splitting, the very idea that persists and prolongs throughout the exhibition. The two different parts are constituted of two different elements, separated yet connected, while one section of the Ballardian house is accessible and is inhabited by a living inhabitant the other section can only accommodate a stone. Through this dichotomy, the landscape enters the enterprise and traps itself into the museum-like stillness of a structure, like a vitrine. The surrounded structure holds its objects trapped within like sun rays in a glass house, where the trapped insiders are in a state of being looked at. Here too, like a glass house, the building and the landscape involve in an ethereal exchange and become contingent to one another, organizing one another in a reciprocal exchange of qualities. Ballardian House enables a setting that is made of concrete, yet it evokes an entirely fictional and imaginary universe. Dissolving boundaries between mental spaces, structures and build, surroundings and the landscape in which it is situated, Jean Pascal Flavian's house reminds the viewer of the writings of J.G. Ballard, whose dystopian imaginations and highly charged situations often displace highly charged emotions, psychological dilemmas and existential conditions upon buildings and landscapes. The house showcases custom-made furnishings relevant in its specific premise including drawings both on Jean Pascal Flavian's formal vocabulary as well as works treated in a Ballardian approach and distilled to inhabit in the condensed Ballardian world. The building will also house some of the structural new sculptural works. These sculptures will have text on its represented by the Ballardian concept of a conglomerate. These texts are nothing but Ballard's writings, to enter the Ballardian world through his own projected journey. These works are neither real, nor it is abstract, they exist at once in several fictional locations and realities, the words complete the creation of the house, what the house couldn't complete. There would be a pair of chairs in the landscape, outside the house, that will echo the house's act of doubling, yet also invoke the presence of inhabitants. It's an imaginary house where the viewers can physically visit brought for the first time to the viewers. The exhibition is on view from September 15 through October 21 at Esther Shipper Gallery, Potsdamer Strasse 81E, D 10785 Berlin. For details, visit http www.estherschipper.com exhibitions and click on the slideshow for a sneak peek at the artworks.